This is the start of the strip down of the front suspension of a TR4. Uh, what I'd like you to look at is this, the, you can see the bushes are very perished in the, in the corner there and they, they are the same down inside here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is take out the shock absorber. You'll notice at the top there's a, a flat which you can put a, a pair of grips on to stop it rotating and a smaller lock nut which locks the, the one below. So you can see the, the bush there. I'm changing all of these and, and putting in uh, the polyurethane ones. Um, not to everybody's favour but that's what I, I don't intend to race this car or anything so it'll be fine. And uh, uh, the, the seat for the spring will be changed as well uh, to polyurethane. But first of all take the hub off, uh, I've slackened the nuts off, that's ready to come off. I'll then, to get it out of the way, I'll take the caliper right off um, and uh, go. Well, having disconnected the, the uh, hose, uh, the lock nut out the back, I can take out the calipers. You'll see that um, there's a little clip there, pull that out and the other one. Here's the ease of having the uh, taking off the uh, wing. You can see I've just punched that out, put them in out of the way. That's that out of the way. Bit dry at the moment, so it'll all be re lubricated. So out and then prise out the anti squeal and the that's that one out. It's still got lubricant on the back. I'll pop that into there and that's that one out as well. Leave it out from the back. Nice and easy. Put that away. Make, make a note of that there is an arrow on these telling you which the direction of the the wheel goes. So make sure you put that back when it goes back in. These are pushed right back because they're they're new uh, brake shoes. But I'm taking off the caliper completely. Um, two sizes of uh, spanner. Uh, I have a feeling that this one is 15 millimeter. I know it sounds odd for a Triumph, but some of these calipers do have a 15 millimeter uh, uh, bolt in there. We'll soon see. Uh, that's the caliper taken off. Um, 5 8 spanner, uh, not the not the 15 mil. But uh, now it's just take take the hub and the disc off. It uh, obviously you have to take out the split pin which I'll just hook out now. Let's see split pin out. Slight a bit of assistance. Yeah this shouldn't be too tight because uh, obviously it's just nipped. Castellated nut. Whole thing off. That gives me access as we're stripping it down. Um, it gives me better access for when I take the the track rod end out for the for the steering. Well, that's the that's the back plate off. It's just held in um, by these two which are, hold the caliper and this one which you just slacken off, this one here you just slacken it off and slide it and a little bit of wangling and it can come off without having to take all this off. Um, there it is ready to go. Now that gives me access to, to break this joint. Uh, I won't dismount, I, I have to, on the bottom of the, 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 uh, the, 
big bolt there has to come off and all the seals so that the uh, the trunnion can be the bushes on the trunnion can be changed as well but it gives me now I've got good access to the all the uh, wishbone assembly and I'll now take out the the shock absorber that's the four bolts taken off you see that cap that comes off and then that allows the the uh, shock absorber to drop through I'll just uh, lift up the wishbone a little bit and that'll allow it to drop out now with the shock absorber out you can see where it comes out of those four bolts I've just shown you um, now I've got the, the threaded rod, I've got a flat plate along the bottom there, uh, a threaded rod which I'll push up through the, the, between the spring and out through that hole in the top there and put a nut and bolt on it and then compress the spring. That's the threaded bar tensioned, now the spring is under tension. I can now take out these 916 bolts here. The, the, and the one is a, stu, a stud just underneath, so uh, right in the corner there. You can see it probably better that side, it's right in the corner. Uh, that's it, a piece of threaded bar in through the centre to allow a guide when I slacken off the tensioned rod. Uh, I've got a, a threaded bolt in there, it's a bit dark on this side, but you can, uh, you can see it there, there's a threaded bar and that, that will be slackened off and uh, put a scissor jack right under the center right under the center of the of the um, the bar the threaded bar it's now loose at the top so I can take that off take that off completely lower the jack take that off now lower the jack and that should bring the uh, take the spring pan right up. That's it. There's the lower spring pan out. Just a, a couple of taps with a, a hammer, and that's it. All loose now just ready to lift out and then I can uh, start 